Hey guys, very well, welcome back to the channel once again. Today's episode is going to be all about efficient plastic production as well as plastic plates. We're really getting towards the end game materials now, getting more complex. And with that complexity, we know they're not the easiest materials to craft and make. So that's why we're going to be showing you exactly how to make this plastic. And also, as we do that, sharing with you our current plastic and plastic plate setup, which is really efficient. We really think you're going to like it. So without further ado, let's get straight into our sandbox building and share this design with you. So we're going to start off with the water element of this build. And we're going to place our synthesizers in this bottom left hand corner here. Now if any of you watched our previous video on the oil production, we're essentially taking that one step further this time and using that oil to create the plastic. So you can see we've got three synthesizers down here. Our outside synthesizers are hydrogen and our central synthesizer is oxygen, giving us two outputs of water here that we're going to use. This left hand output is going to be used to grow the algae. I'm going to place down a grow building here. Continue this pipe on and place down a second grower building. We're also going to take some water using underground pipes here over to this right hand side, place down another grower building. Now all these grower buildings are going to need to go into the compressor. So we're going to place our compressor down, pipe the right hand output into that, placing a boiler at the start here. We're also going to need to use a heat gun to heat this compressor up. But because of the limited amount of space, we're going to need a second heat gun here to heat the boiler. And that's going to give us the correct temperature for our compressor. Now we also need to get the algae into the compressor itself. So we're going to use a fast grabber on this left hand grower, a long fast grabber on this right hand one. And in order to get this top grower, we're going to use another set of grabbers, placing a long grabber at the top so it can directly insert it. So that's going to give us three separate algae feeds into the compressor, and that's going to produce a nice quantity of oil. Now we're then going to start to refine this oil using the chemical plant, place it directly as close as possible to save on space. And our light oil is going to come out the right hand side. And our heavy oil is going to come out the top. Now we're only interested in light oil for the plastic production. So heavy oil has no use for this purpose. So the light oil is going to come out the right hand side here and we're going to place down a chemical plant and then place down another two chemical plants just like so, connecting all of them up to the light oil pipes. And that's gonna make sure we have plenty of plastic production once it's ready to be produced, making sure to select the recipe for the plastic. Now, unless we export the excess heavy oil coming out of the first chemical plant, nothing is gonna be produced. So in order to do that, we're going to need some steel barrel production. And for that, we're gonna need two final synthesizers, our iron production and our carbon production. We're gonna place the synthesizer in this top right hand corner. This is gonna be our carbon element for the steel and then we're going to place down a fast splitter followed by a heater on this top row followed by another splitter doesn't need to be fast this time and then two mixers and for our iron element of the build we're going to place down our final synthesizer fast splitter and then two further heaters We're then going to turn this raw steel into steel plates before guiding the belt round, making sure to heat them up before they go into the shaper. Selecting the steel barrel recipe and then placing our applier down, feeding them into the applier before exporting. And we've got to make sure we connect the heavy oil line into the applier. Now you can either export these or you can incinerate these. It doesn't make any difference to the output at the end. If you want to collect them heavy barrels, feel free. If not, just incinerate them. So that's the steel barrel element completed and the heavy oil being exported. Now in order to produce the actual plastic, we also need to add carbon into the chemical plants. So we're going to take this belt from the other line of the splitter, take that all the way down to the bottom, heating that at these two points here. If the carbon isn't hot, it's not going to go into the chemical plants. And we're going to place some fast splitters to feed the carbon into these chemical plants just along this row. So now we've got our light oil into each chemical plant and our hot carbon going into the chemical plants as well. There's only one thing left to do and that's to export the plastic itself. So we're gonna start with this top chemical plant up here, laser fast grabber like so, and export using the exporter. For this middle chemical plant, we're gonna again use a fast grabber and export that. And for the third and final one like so. 
Now if we turn this on, give it a run, we can start to see all the elements feeding down the belts. That hot carbon being inserted, we can see the heavy and light oil within the pipes. 3.03 plastic per second, which is absolutely brilliant for a micro factory. This compact design is really starting to produce these now. We're also exporting those heavy oil barrels at 0.61 per second, so again, really healthy amount. Now you can also adapt this design to make plastic plates if you need plastic plates. All we're going to do is simply remove the three exporters we've got that are being supplied by the fast grabbers and just change them so the fast grabbers are directly inserting into the heater, followed by the shaper selecting the plastic plate recipe and then finally the exporter once again. Copy that down onto the second one here, heater, shaper and exporter. And the third and final chemical plant, heater, shaper and exporter. Now you'll see once we turn this on that the plastic plate production is going to be exactly half of what we were producing of the raw plastic. So again, 1.51 plastic plates per second in this micro factory. This is going to give you all the plastic plates you need as you come on to printing at the very end of level 20. Now if we take a look at the blueprint here, like we always do, you're going to see that the price is 105000 Not too shabby. We are at the end game here. There are a lot of grabbers and expensive equipment, so the price is obviously going to be increased. Slight difference on the production rates there. However, that shouldn't be the case once we export it into our micro factory. And you can see, again, all the materials required to produce this. So let's save this design, get it into our micro factory, and start producing all the plastic that we're going to need. So here we are once again, let's get our plastic design, place it down into our micro factory, give it a whirl. And we can see we are currently at capacity for our heavy barrels, so we're not producing any there. But in relation to the plastic, those plastic plates starting to fill up very quickly indeed in our transit, giving us plenty to play with for those other uses. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this guys and we do hope this has helped explain how to produce the plastic, one of the most more complicated materials in the game at the moment. We'll be moving on to inks and printing next so if you haven't already please stay subscribed and watch out for those videos as they come online. But until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.